Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got some news today, guys, because it looks like the next set of Future Stars Team 2 of this promo, which is coming out tomorrow, looks way better than Team 1. These are the real Future Stars, you may say. Some players that we were looking for to be dropped in this promo actually are coming. But because of that, will EA make other changes that won't make us actually that impressed we'll talk about that today and what to expect with the new season starting today and a lot of other things going on in fc24 if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about yesterday's content it's not going to take too long because we only had one sbc and that's the only sbc we have to go over today it is the depaul pundit picks and actually guys it's a pretty good one. Four star, four star, high, high wear grades. The stats are what make this card really good. It's a little bit surprising, right? I mean, we saw the leak. We talked about it. We kind of knew that this card was coming. He's only got one playstyle plus, but I mean, the rest of his playstyles are really solid for a center mid. And I think his stats look like a very, very usable card in game. I'm actually going to compare it to the Rykard SBC just a little bit because both of these feel like maybe they're a bit expensive. They're both downvoted, right? But the cards themselves both look halfway decent. I think DePaul maybe looks a little bit better than rank Rykard, but Rykard can play center back. So to each their own. I mean, people are doing this SBC. You can tell. I'm looking at some of the Atletico Madrid cards on the market. A couple of Griezmann's cards are up. The Jimenez road to the final is up as well with links to DePaul. So I think with the craftability of the menus right now, even though it's maybe a tad expensive or maybe not as good of a card as a lot of us would have wanted, it is still a fine. It's an okay SBC. So it's a little bit craftable and it's out for uh, six days. So it's not out that long, but that is there. If there's some Atletico Madrid links that you fancy inside of this game. Now, also yesterday, I think the hero player pick refreshed, which again, to me, uh, is not something that I was super interested in doing. I think fodder moved a little bit for this. Some 84s, 85s, maybe up a smidge because of this. The continuation of the 84 times 5, the 85 times 2, the demand there. Informs did start to drop off a little bit. I think they're about 21 to 22,000 coins. And I don't think they're going to go up that much further today. I think they would probably not have any extra demand. And since those SBCs that require them, namely the 84 times 5, I think the 84 times 5 goes away today. Let me double check that for sure. Um, I think I might say that informs are probably okay. No, it expires on uh, expires on Friday, so you can do it one more time today, but then it goes away. So I guess this is the last day to do it. So maybe today would be the last day to get your informs out. It looks like again, if that goes away, they're probably gonna drop down below 20k. We'll see. We'll look at the market and watch that today. Speaking of team of the weeks, uh, we did have a new team of the week, and. It's got the big names in it, guys. It's got Vinny. It's got Holland. It's got Teo Hernandez. Again, with Team of the Weeks, they don't give out many playstyle pluses, which is a bit unfortunate. This Toby Alderweireld looks like an interesting card. Uh, also, the card Stanisic from Leverkusen, he can play center back. I know the rest of the card doesn't look that good, but he's got really high pace for a center back card. Kind of an interesting one if you want to try somebody out for 20,000 coins. And also, EA used the wrong dynamic on Trincao. Evidently, that is not Trincao, uh, and it's one of his teammates on Sporting. But they gave uh, Trincao an inform with the wrong dynamic. So that's that. Uh, Stanway looks okay. I mean, yeah, it's a special Teo Hernandez. Yes, there's a special Vinny and Holland in packs. I do think, though, Holland's a believable price for me, but this Vinny is too expensive, man. It's just a plus one upgrade over his gold card, and yet other Vinny cards are still 2.6, 2.9 million coins for the team of the year honorable mentions and such. I think this card's going to drop down some more during the weekend, so I would be careful of that. Now, also yesterday, we, of course, had more Champions League games and more Champions League card movements with... Ganduzi and Lazio absolutely destroying our hopes of a Kimmich upgrade and beating Bayern 1-0. What a crazy game that was. Now we have four cards that are due upgrades. Of course, Donnarumma for their win over Real Sociedad. PSG winning there. He is going to get a plus one. Ganduzi is going to get a plus one in-form upgrade as well. Um, and also Gavardio and Tony Cruz, which we already knew. Now, again, I don't know if these upgrades are going to take place tomorrow on Friday or if it's going to be next Friday. Either of those two time frames is very accurate. But of course, with the upset, Ganduzi's card went up really, really high. And I actually sold him a little bit early. Right when um, Lazio scored, I was on the game. I was able to pick one up uh, right before, actually before they shot the penalty. His price started to go up from 70,000 coins. And he goes all the way now to 111,000 coins. And what a rise that was. Crazy, crazy rise there because now he is getting updated. And I mean... 
They're 1-0 up on Bayern. So going into the second leg, it's yes, still possible for Kimmich upgrades. I know a lot of us had did the Kimmich SBC, myself included. We thought this was going to be an easy upgrade. And all of a sudden, it is not looking like that great of an upgrade. Although this still is a great card, they're going to have to win by a couple goals in the second leg to be able to go through and continue on in the competition, which seems definitely doable since it's only a one goal difference and they will be at home. But we have lost one potential upgrade on our Kimmich and we have to wait even longer to get that upgraded. Now, the same thing with Donnarumma. Well, not the same thing with Donnarumma. He's getting upgraded, but the same thing with Marino. Marino, they lost 2-0, so he's a little bit more in the mud. You could say 34,000 coins for his card, but a 2-0 deficit to PSG, it doesn't look good for them to potentially come back, so he is down like crazy, as you would expect. Now, the one thing I want to point out for games today, because we've got Europa League and we've got Conference League games today, guys. Um, I, don't not, I do not believe that any of these cards, even... If they're playing today, which I know some of the cards like Leon Bailey and like Nunez, they've already guaranteed themselves a spot in the round of 16. These are playoff games in the Europa League and the Conference League, I believe. So I don't think that any of these games today actually count for upgrades because for the Europa League and Conference League, they have those playoffs to get into the round of 16. These are not the actual round of 16 games. So um, that's what they're trying to qualify for is the upgrade. So I don't believe that any of the games today actually count for upgrades so just be aware of that wow pedri is how much 6.99 right now oh my gosh that is a crazy undercut if that is sitting somebody literally listed with a six at the front instead of a seven we're gonna check this out really fast because if that's there yeah we're gonna buy it okay it's not there <laughs> okay of course it got sniped right probably wouldn't be sitting in there but it's the dead of night who knows um yeah so i don't think any of those europa league cards are even like fighting for an upgrade for this Friday, they'd be fighting for an upgrade a bit later on. So just kind of something to mention there. And that's kind of all that happened yesterday, guys. That was, it was a pretty quiet day to be expected. Um, but the new team of the week shook things up a little bit. I'm not even really trading with those cards because they're very rare because there wasn't much supply yesterday. But the real news that actually got us talking was on the socials. It wasn't inside of this game and it is about future stars, team number two. Let's look at the leaks, guys, because... Again, like I mentioned, some of the cards that a lot of you guys were saying, yo, I want to see this player, I want to see this player, I want to see this player in Future Stars, it is leaked to come that those players are coming. And we start with a big name. A lot of Manchester United fans are going to be happy with Rasmus Hoyland. He is getting a Future Stars card. It is official. Now, one thing I will say, all these cards have predicted stats. That's a big boost, okay? 90 rated Hoyland. I mean, if you look at his other card that he has in this game, I think it has 87 shooting and he's got 90 pace and he does have the finesse shot plus. Um, and he's got an inform as well with 92 pace and 83 shooting. So, I, again, guys, a 94 pace is very possible. And what we noticed from team one is is that the higher rated cards got the double playstyle pluses. It was like, what, 88, 89 rated and above in this team got double playstyle pluses. And then if you were 87 and below, usually you, you just got one playstyle plus. Yeah, that was the threshold. 88 ball, they had two. 88 Lukeba had two. Same thing with Trinity Rodman. So I 100% think this is a card that is going to get a double playstyle plus, but I don't think that he's going to get finesse plus like this one has. If you're looking forward to this card and you're thinking he's going to get finesse plus, I feel like it's unlikely. We'll see. We'll see what they give him. It's going to be totally different this time around. Hopefully, he has rapid or quick step plus. That would be super dope. Um, and then I would imagine they would give him something else, probably add in a couple other play styles as well. We'll just have to see what EA do. But that's a very exciting one for Hoyland. He'll be a good card. He'll be a good card. He'll be expensive. That'll be a card that a lot of people want to go after. A familiar name in this game is getting a Future Stars as well, Basha. Yeah, everybody has the left back card, right? And again, these are predicted stats, so we don't know how high her rating is going to be. She might be one of the higher rated players in the promo team since 90 uh, is the rating of, or 91. I forget what her SBC card is now. Uh, I think it's 90, right? But this will be an upgrade off of that most surely. And that's going to be a really, really cracked card. And of course... Um, Two playstyle pluses. Imagine whipped pass plus and like anticipate plus because she has both of those on the SBC card. That would be crazy. So that's a big one that is coming as well. Another French left back. Mukoko, a name that a lot of people wanted to see in future stars. He's getting a card as well. This one to me, I think there's a little bit lower of a rating on these predictions because I think he's actually going to be a little bit lower rated. I don't know. That's just my take. He might have, he might be 87 or 88 rated. Maybe he gets two playstyle pluses. Maybe he's uh, 87 rated and only gets one. We'll have to see. Um, that's a card there that I think a lot of people were looking forward to though. And let's move on to some of the icons. Cannavaro 
is coming in this team. Very hyped card. First promo card for him this year. The Ladder Climber was his nickname from years of old. Very good defending. His pace is probably going to be a little bit low. And of course, he's known as a shorter center back. But his jumping is always really high. And some people say that he's pretty good in this year's game. So Cannavaro is coming as a card. Probably going to be one of the cheaper icons, though. Kind of maybe around the range of maybe a Seedorf type card, in my opinion. I just think he's going to be a little bit cheaper. You've also got Zico. This is where it gets good, man. And I know some of you guys are going to think this right away. Nah, man, I just did the Zico SBC, and now they release a better version. Guys, these are all cards that are expected to be in packs. So if you still have the Zico base version, I mean, that's still an insane card. That card cooks me in champs and rivals all the time. It's still an amazing player. But I really want to know, what this Zico card is going to get for playstyles because this might be one of the most broken cards in the game. If they give him, I don't even know, like incisive pass and dead ball plus, or if they give him, if they take away dead ball plus and just give him like technical and incisive or true, I don't know what they're going to give him, man. I'm really excited to see what the Zico card looks like, but he's going to be expensive, just like a Maldini. Just like maybe even a Dino, not that expensive, but he's going to be a very expensive card because that card is going to look incredible. We also have Zidane, another very expensive icon is about to be dropped in this game. One thing to note as well is, just like with the Team 1 icons, it's kind of like they are giving them icon cards based off of their baby versions, right, of old FIFAs. So think about Baby Zidane, the one that had the hair back in older uh, FIFAs. I mean, had a little bit more pace, maybe a little bit less. I think it was a little bit less shooting, but higher dribbling for this Zidane card and a little bit less physical as well. They might sort of kind of do something like that, but it is going to be a big bro icon. It's not a lower rated one, just like we saw with Dino and all that stuff. So we're looking at a Zidane that's probably going to go to 96 rated with two playstyle pluses incisive pass and maybe i don't know technical i hope they don't do first touch all the time for these cards when they add like double play style and they add play um, first touch plus to me it doesn't make me want to use the card a ton more but i know so many of you guys as well have the 92 zidane that you did as the sbc i think that's still going to be a very viable card as this one's going to be crazy expensive on the market and then i'm really excited about this one destiny udoji going to be in the Future Stars promo as well. I hope he's 89 rated, okay? I hope he's similar to like Art de Goulart or Harvey Elliott where he's a little bit higher rated, gets two playstyle pluses, but he's not that crazy expensive because as of course you guys know, a lot of that middle tier like Goulart, Elliott, uh, even Boniface I would say, they're in a decent price range. Lukiba, 138,000 coins. I'm hoping that he falls within that price range as well that's going to be a very very good card i mean his base gold which is 70 something rated has 88 pace it's going to be a really cracked card guys especially as a left back now looking through a few more of the leaks we have zaire emery this card looks insane and i hope he's higher rated as well like i'm looking at all these cards and the predicted stats i think are getting us a little bit extra excited to be completely honest because this is a 91 rated zaire emery there was like a 91 rated hoyland or whatever he was and when we look at Future Stars team number one, there was only one 91 rated card. But would EA make these cards a little higher rated? You know, who knows? Team two does look better, has bigger names in it. I have a couple of theories about this as well as why they're putting some bigger and better names in team two. We'll talk about that in a second. But Zaire Emery is going to be a goaded card. I mean, I think this one's too juiced. That's... This is like the type of card that you would see during... That's like a team of the season level card. I think that's juiced too much. His base is a silver anyway, so... Don't take that as like, that's what his card's going to look like. But, you know, that's one that's coming as well. And then a couple more leaks that we do have right now. David Beckham. Yeah, David Beckham getting a promo card. A lot of people did his SBC earlier on in the year when his base card was released then with Dead Ball Plus. And uh, hopefully he gets a pretty big pace boost. I know everybody remembers his Team of the Year icon card last year that had 90 pace. I don't think that's going to happen this year. I think he's going to be one of those cheaper team, uh, Future Star icons. Uh, unlike his team of the year was a couple years ago, especially since we already have a Zidane. We've already got a Zico. It's going to be a part of this. Maybe even another icon or two still to be leaked. I think he's going to be a bit of a cheaper one, but I don't know, 85 pace. Give him a good pace boost like they did for Gerard, and give him a couple playstyle pluses and he could be a nice card to try out on a little bit of a lower budget and a lot of people would want to use this card. I mean, his playstyles are incredible. This card early in the game was very, very good. I can only imagine how good his future stars version is going to be. And I think the last leak that we have right now is Rivaldo. That is the last icon leak at the moment. I know you might be like, Nate, again, 
They're using some of the same icons. Rivaldo's already had one. We've already had a Zidane. We've already had a special Zico, right? And um, yep, they have. They are reusing a few of these. But to be honest, the ones that they're reusing are like the top tier ones that obviously you're like, okay, they're going to try to sell packs, all right? They're going to, those are going to be the ultimate chase cards in this promo. And we kind of saw that already with team number one of the icons, right? We've already had a special Rooney. We've already had a special Dino. Um, we've already had a special Maldini with dynasties as well. But those were like the really expensive ones, you know? So I like the fact that they are including like Beckham and Cannavaro cards that have not gotten icon specials yet um, that are still in here for their first time. And I like that. So I think that's pretty cool. And then one more leak that we do have is an SBC as of right now. It is Hemp. Hemp is coming as an SBC in Team 2. This could be pretty cracked. I mean, Whipped Pass Plus is... is a big thing with this card um and i think she is a left wing yeah left wing on the card there i'm trying to think back to her thunderstruck card which i'm searching up right now this is a card that i traded with a lot of people really love this card i think even tex the pro player was using this card a bunch earlier on in the year look at all the play styles that she has finesse but she also has trivella quick step rapid tiki taka and of course the whipped pass plus her passing stats are really good dribbling stats are insane composure is pretty low uh, but really good stamina as well. Left mid, left wing. Hopefully, this is a really, really good SBC. Manchester City links. It could be good. So, again, if it's higher rated, and a lot of the SBCs last week, at least the first couple that they dropped, had two playstyle pluses like Claudia Pena did last Friday as well. So, I think there's a little bit of hype for that one as well. So, overall, guys, you got big names in here, right? The Hoyland, the Basha. Um, I mean, I didn't even really consider Basha able to be in this team. That's pretty crazy. Um, you got the Zyre Emery. You got some big icons. Team 2 is definitely looking better than Team 1. As we look at it, we're getting really excited. But here's my caveat to this, and here's the warning that I want to put out. Of course, all those stats that we're looking at right now are predicted, right? They're predicted stats. They are not 100% guaranteed. And as we saw last week, some of the future stars predicted stats were like higher than what we actually thought. Like we thought Harvey Elliott was going to be one of the bigger cards in the promo team. And he ends up being just kind of, yes, he's 89 rated, but his pack weight's pretty high. 40,000 coins to this card. Yes, it is pretty crazy, but you know, that sort of thing could happen with even a card like Hoyland. Who knows? So that's one thing I'll tell you is take the leaks with a pinch of salt. Like the player names are bigger, in my opinion. Player names are bigger, and there's still more to come as well. I know a lot of you guys maybe want a Matisse Tell. There's plenty of other players that could fit in here to this team. There's more coming, right? Because we just looked at what, like seven, eight players, um, including the icons, maybe nine. So there's more names to come for sure with another icon team and another full team in packs. So watch out for that. But if EA are going to put better players in packs, are they going to decrease the pack weight? And that's the worry that I have because this team one was, yes, pretty good and people got excited for it. But one of the th reasons why it was so exciting was because these cards were really, really packable. Will they decrease that and change it up for team two if the cards are a little bit more juiced, they're bigger names and stuff like that? That's what I fear. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying I'm fearing that a little bit, and we're, we're going to find out really quick. We're going to find out on Friday when the team is dropped. We'll see the pack odds in the store. We'll be able to compare for what it was from Team 1, and also we'll be able to look at the prices, look at the ratings of the cards as they get put on the market. Last week, within the first five minutes, we could tell that guys like Harvey Elliott and um, others in this promo were going to be very, very supplied. When Harvey Elliott, in the first five minutes, went from his maximum price all the way down to, I think it was like a hundred and something K. And I was just like, wow, that seems very cheap for a double play style card of his quality. And yeah, of course he dropped down a bunch more, but we realized right then and the pack weight was pretty insane. So we'll be watching that very closely. I hope they're just as packable as team number one. We need that hype to come back or, or to stay consistent with the packability, especially for these new cards that look a little bit better. So that's kind of the whole situation right now with leaks. I do 100% expect there to be more leaks today on Thursday. Like I mentioned, there's more cards to come that is not the full team. So watch out for more leaks. But that makes me a little excited at least. I think I might save a couple 85 doubles. I opened all of my season reward packs that I said I was going to save a couple of. So I might save a couple 85 doubles in the 84 times 5 just to have a chance at, for specifically for me, Udoji, but some of the other cards that are going to come out tomorrow as well let's talk about other things happening today on this game of course you guys might know like hey with the new season coming today what is that gonna do right new season is dropping today which means things are resetting xp is resetting a lot of the objective section will be changing um and yeah the biggest thing that we see every season is 
the players that they put in, if there's any icons or heroes especially, which they did include a couple heroes last time with Risa and Riziki, um, I know those weren't that great, but remember seasons before where like Kelly Smith Centurions is in here, there's usually some big price drop-offs with cards that get included because they're going to be given out for free. So closely watch that. That could be a, a quick impact to the market today. I'm really curious to see how long this next season is because this last season, as short as it was, felt like it almost went by too fast. But the shorter the seasons are, technically, the more packs we feel like we're kind of getting because that way you get to the end of a season and you get bigger and better packs quicker. So if we have another 20-day season, as long as EA keeps the... Uh, the XP rolling out, and I don't forget to release XP like they did this last season, then hopefully um, that means good things for us and good packs for us. We'll hope for bigger packs in there. And uh, yeah, just a new season coming out today. So that is that. If you're trying to claim any XP forward like I am, uh, I don't have the 4,000 XP, but I'm just not claiming my weekly XP rewards just to see if we get anything there. Rivals Rewards today as well is going to bring a little supply to the market and to these team number one cards. What else is happening today? Well, I think maybe Bundesliga Player of the Month. I know that Verts is still here, and I need to do the last squad of his SBC. This is either coming today or tomorrow, though. Another Bundesliga Player of the Month. EA said it in their content tweet for the week. That was going to come out. And then also marquee matchups coming today, 100% for sure. Uh, the regular marquee matchups are going to be coming back this weekend. And then there's also, I think, one slight chance for another Future Stars um, player SBC. Uh, the Frosisone guy, I think his name was Sule that was leaked to Argentinian right wing. That could be a player SBC today, or it also could be a part of the objectives that would be with team number two. So watch out for that. And with the supply coming today from marquee matchups and maybe a bit of a quieter today, today on Thursday, should we invest in any of these cards from Future Stars Team 1? And I have to say, I do think there are some cards in here, even though the pack weight's been so crazy. Maybe after we get to Friday... I think some of these could start to go up. It might take a while. It might take multiple weeks for some of these to start to rise. But Harvey Elliott is one that I think could end up rising. You know, I mean, he also could drop this weekend, though, because, again, on Friday, we're expecting that massive Future Stars Academy evolution for the midfielders, which would mean, again, center mid, center attacking mid, CDMs could all take a hit in price, depending on how that Evo looks and what players are involved in it. I think Harvey Elliott, for me, is one that if you pick him up for your club at some time this weekend, around 40,000 coins. Like, this is a card that is better than that team of the year honorable mentions, Bernardo Silva, and that Bernardo Silva was 100K. So, Double playstyle plus Liverpool, England. I mean, really, really good card in general. Uh, I think he has an opportunity to go up a bit in the coming weeks. Probably a slow riser. But then other cards like Garnacho, Lauren James, even Trinity Rodman. I'm a little scared for the top tier, even the middle tier of this next upcoming team. Just because, again, you're going to have people that will want to sell maybe a Rodman or maybe even a Doku to go try it out. Hoyland, if his card looks insane. Uh, maybe the same thing can be said for a couple other leaks like maybe some of the icons or maybe the um, the Zyre Emery. A lot of people would want to go out and try. So I just think that some of the top tier cards might be hurt with new future stars coming into this game and with the Evo coming on Friday. So I don't think I'm going to invest in any of these today. I'm going to wait and see what Friday does to their prices. But as they go out of packs, I think they could be a halfway decent investment. Some of the ones that discard as well. Uh, put a Barrios in the club, put a Bissac in the club for sure. Those cards are very, very good. And let's be honest, long term, this Lukiba card for 130k seems very, very cheap for a French center back with a double play style plus and those kind of stats. So maybe you want to put those in the club as well. But I think I wouldn't expect them to go up that much today. Their prices have been very stagnant all week um, after the weekend when they fluctuated a ton. So I think I'm going to wait until we get to tomorrow to try to invest in anything like that. I also want to talk about SBC fodder. I know some of you guys are looking at this, looking to buy, looking to invest. I think this weekend will be a really good time to invest in fodder. But I don't think that I want to invest in it at all until we get to this weekend. Like I'm thinking maybe after Friday with the supply, maybe even Saturday with everything that could be coming out. It's not like we have an icon pick that is refreshing at all today or the, during this weekend. It's the hero pick. It already refreshed. It's going to be going away. But an icon pick should be coming out this weekend. And hopefully, hopefully a massive Future Stars Icon SBC. Some people have said that Cannavaro could end up being the SBC if he's not in packs. That seems likely that would fit kind of how Shevchenko and Rykard were kind of middle to lower tier. 
but I kind of hope that they drop a massive Future Stars Icon SBC um, or just an Icon SBC in general because a lot of people, myself included, are kind of looking for that next big SBC to grind. Like a lot of these players like Bruno, I know is expiring. You've done that. All the players that you've wanted to do from the team of the year set of SBCs, you've probably gone and done or about finished up. Eusebio expires today. That's an SBC that so many people have done that I didn't, but that's some demand for high rated fodder. It's going to be going away. Um, let's see what else is expiring here soon. You've still got these other icon of species that are out for a while, like best. Oh, it's got seven days left. Zico's got 30 days left. Sawa's got 37 days. So I just feel like it's time for another one of those really expensive type of SBCs, which could make fodder very investable on the higher tier. But I got to see something before I go and invest in that. And uh, yes, the prices are very low. But again, like I said, I got to see something. So I'm liking the 88s and above at some point this weekend, but we're just not quite there yet so watch out for that today probably a bit of a drop on some of those prices especially with eusebio going away and some more supply coming in now the last two things we do have an spc that's incoming that might have a little bit of hype in coming and maybe a reason why you would want to try to pick up a harvey elliott maybe today if he does drop is diogo jota if you want to try to get anything harvey elliott would go up that much i don't think he'd move much more than a couple thousand because of this, it all depends on the price of the SBC, but Jota has won player of the month. It's not Kevin De Bruyne. I know a lot of us were hoping for KDB, but Jota has won the award. And guys, I can't imagine this card's that cracked. I mean, Jota just had, finally, after EA took months to do this, they released the 88 rated objective via the FC Pro, which so many people turned in the 86 that you had to use to get this 88 rated card in the first place. Um, hopefully, Jota is an 89 or a 90. Um, if they don't upgrade him a lot, that would tell me that he's going to get a promo card pretty soon and whatever promos are upcoming. So that's just one thing to look out for today if he's 88 or 89 rated maybe. Um, but that could be a decent SBC. Five-star weak foot, of course, for Jota. But I wouldn't think that it's going to be that expensive. So Liverpool fans are happy, but the rest of us are kind of like, okay, EA, show us what you got. Probably not going to be double playstyle plus, probably just one. We'll have to see. And the last thing I want to show you guys is too, I want to check and see if it's still going on. EA had a kind of a crazy mistake, and it's it's honestly it's kind of laughable here. Let's go to the Future Stars Attackers Evo. They added the dynamics for these cards. Ah, it doesn't show. Okay, earlier, just a couple of hours ago, this Rodri card was showing as the Rodri from Manchester City, and I saw this and I just busted out laughing because it's just so funny. Like. I mean, yes, it's a mistake, but it's so funny to see Rodri's dynamic on this card, which actually looks kind of cold with the blue kit. But then you see Batiste La Liga down there at the bottom. It's just, it's kind of laughable because EA made the mistake, but it's also just kind of funny to see Rodri as a left wing with those stats on the card. But it looks like they kind of fixed it because he's no longer there. Also, the Brian card does not have a dynamic, but it's nice to see these cards finally having dynamics in the game, especially the defenders as well. Even though you can barely see Savava and she's just looking away. Just like looking away. Okay, like, wow, I'm, I'm an 82 rated left back. I can't believe. <laughs> I don't know, man. So, yeah, they added dynamics, which is cool, but they messed up on Rodri. Uh, so, keep grinding through those Evos if you're doing that. Also, uh, today, a lot of people will be playing Champs Qualifier. So, there will be a little bit of market movement and a little bit of ways you can trade. The market has been rough, ATM. Um, I was just watching the Schneider card. I flipped one earlier today for like 20,000 coins profit. It's the small flips like that that seem to be working. Got to do the safe stuff. Uh, but there should be a few more people playing the game today, which could create some more demand. I would just shout again, bids. Bids are so easy to get good deals on because a lot of people are not watching those bids and you can get some good deals and then undercuts and then list the card up and uh, get some good sales. So it's a bit grindy, but that's what we can do to make some coins on the market ATM. Other than that, should be a quiet Thursday, all in preparation for a big Friday tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. We'll rip through some more upgrades and some player picks and our last 84 fives and 85 doubles. Maybe save a couple of them for Friday and get ready for a big Friday of Future Stars team number two. So again, if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. See you in the stream. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys there. Peace.